Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, today is August 11, 2022. My name is Julie Nguyen. I am coming to you from Orange County, California. We have asked you to gather here today to have just a brief heart-to-heart -heart conversation among all of us here as friends. As Terry, Sherry, and I felt that there is a need to you know, bring in some topic, important discussions of our thoughts through the updates on webinar. And we fully understand that everybody has different opinions in the, every webinars or different opinions in posting, in, in uh, you know, social media, you know, everybody has, and actually rightfully so. But we would like to share a few thoughts on our own in hopes that some of the values that we share here with among our friends here that we could looking at things in different differently recently there are so many founders uh, that are joining us through you know purchasing pending positions and they also want to know that their decisions be a founders was the best decision that they have ever made in their life so by your joining us today, we really appreciate that you're joining us today among friends. Just please know that everything that we are sharing here is honest from our heart and honest from our mind to literally uplifting, literally to reunite or reignite the passion and the happy that when we make that decision, when we were so excited to be part of Unpassive, be so excited, be a founders of Unpassive. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to, let's say, let's get together, friends. Let's just sit down and just be real. Let's bring it back to the beginning if you need to. Let's just be real. Not only that, all of us being here, what we share here today will help the new founders to say, hey, I love these people and I'm so glad that I joined these people as founders of this magnificent company. So on behalf of all of our friends here that are joining us today, we really appreciate that you're joining us here and just let just be honest, let just be real. And then tonight, we are going to replay this webinar again at 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time, so that the people that are not here today, not here now, be able to listen. One thing I would like to disclose is that this webinar is not an ASH update webinar. It is not an ASH update webinar. If you are coming here to listen and to expect to have Ash showing up, it is not. He is not going to be here. I don't know where he is. I know that he is very busy and he showed up on Marty's live this morning, but I know that he and his family and his all his team are working very hard behind the scenes for us. So the disclose here is that this is not an Ash webinar. And if you are expecting to see him, uh, you won't be seeing him today. Actually, at this point, I don't know, but but I just wanna let you know that you won't be seeing him today. Uh, that's my honest truth when I did a posting and when I gather all our friends here just to be here with all of us. And we are all friends. We've known each other for four years, some of us, some of us, few months but we hear every day we put our live on here and i just wanted to remind everyone here uh, for me on passive is my only lifeline this is all i have my life my kids are depending on my business that i've been uh, working in the past years and that business is given uh the opportunity to me by Mr. Ash Mufar and by his family and the tech team. And this on passive is my business. And I, from the day that I understood a little bit about on passive, I treat it as if it was me. It was my own business. And thank God I did not put out the, the sacrifice, the tears, um, the financially, especially to build this business. So this is just on Julie's note, um, 
saying that this is I'm serious about this. So this is the reason, and that's why we are all here. Is thank you all our friends being here with us. I'm gonna send it back to uh, Terry Thompson. Uh, as we know, we all speak every day. Terry and I and Sherry, we are uh, working together in California, and uh, we speak every day. So Terry, if you could please take the mic. Great. Thank you so much, Julie. What a great introduction and welcome. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Terry Thompson. And I just wanted to share a personal thought that I have, that I've worked on, that I've made a conscious effort to change. And I hope in uh, sharing this that it brings a little bit of value to you as well. Um, just so you know, the subject I'm going to speak about, I feel that we're all guilty of this in a way. And it's not a bad thing. I just want you to know that we are no different than you. We all have the same thoughts and feelings at sometimes. And but something I've worked on that I think just helps. And again, I hope it brings a little bit of value to you today. Um, that subject, I know that we're at a place um, that it's kind of like the calm before the storm, before the excitement. I mean, it's been exciting the whole journey, but boy, we're right at that peak and everybody is just so excited and enthusiastic in anticipation of what's to come right now that I believe when we do have a webinar from our CEO, we're, we're, we're kind of thinking ahead of what we want to hear. We're having kind of preconceptions of what we want that particular webinar to be. And when we do that, when we don't keep our minds clear, keep an open mindset to the message, I don't think that we necessarily receive it. Um, to the best capacity that we can. And I just, I, like I said, I'm guilty too, because we're just so excited. I don't want you to change that excitement. That's my biggest point. Keep that enthusiasm going um, every time that we, every time that we go on, because I guess I, <laughs> I personally have missed out on some messages sometimes that are equally as important as what we think we want to hear on that particular uh, webinar. So my whole point is try to go in every single time, no matter what webinar it is, um, with, a, with an open mind, with a positive mindset, so we don't miss very important messages. And I am just encourage everyone moving forward to become better listeners. And also, um, you know, I, I feel strongly that each message is valuable. And um, whether it be on the topic, again, that we think we want to hear or whatever, because I know our CEO is extremely busy. We all know that. We don't need to go there. We know how hard he works for us, and we appreciate it so much. So we know that when he does come on, whatever he has to say is because it's important to him and therefore important to us. So I just want to be us to be mindful of that. Um, keep the excitement, keep the enthusiasm for what's to come. And when we do share that there's a <laughs> webinar, also keep that in mind of the words that we choose when we share. We don't want to over speak or that because you don't want someone coming back. Well, I thought it was going to be this or that because I'll tell you, I was blown away by our, our last message uh, with our CEO. Very you don't have to do it we're all the way that we all think is important it's valuable and uh, um you know so i'm not i'm not pushing my thoughts it's just a little tidbit that has helped me personally so i hope it helps you today um thank you so much for having me and sherry what are, what are your thoughts about that 
Uh, can you hear me okay? Because I don't know if it's my internet going in and out, but uh, you were a little bit scattered there, so it might be my end. We can hear you, Sherry. Perfect. Well, let me know if you can. not <laughs> Anyway, so my thoughts for sure was, one, our company is different. We're revolutionary. We're here to change the world. It's not just about ourselves, but it's about futures and futures to come to come. So in his message, he always has some kind of message. Know that it's a positive message. And he, he had said months ago that it's about setting our mindset to get it ready for where we're going. Because trust me, none of us really know how this is going. I mean, we have no, I mean, we can only imagine, but it's got to go beyond that imagination. We have to be ready. Our mindset has to be ready. If somebody handed you $120,000 today, would you, would you blow it and not spend it right? Or would you use it in the right places and know that you're helping our world? Uh, I'm sure 90 five percent of people want to help others and that's what this company is about a revolutionary so it's about our mindset that's what his thing uh um last webinar was about what and a lot of people like you said terry went in there thinking something different well no that ash knows how i knows each step he's taken so he knew that it was time for our step to help working on our mental because we're so close and he doesn't want you to be left behind because if you're not if you're not working on yourself and you're not staying um you know enjoying this journey whatever it is whether it just be i know people work and if you can just take a little bit of time and see oh, people's hearts our ceo's heart and his family and where they're coming from and where they want this to go then you'll you, you're being a perfect spot and we've got to like change our mindset and one book I remember him mentioning, which was incredible because I happen to have this book. It's called, I don't know if you could see it. You probably can't see it. It's called, I'll read it, The Magic of Thinking Big. And he said this to us a long time ago. And so he's bringing it back around for you to work on your personal development. Maybe it's just you need to meditate more. Maybe you need to be plugged in more. Maybe you need to be in touch more with a higher power. Maybe you just need to get rid of, rid of not rid of, but get rid of uh, some of those people who are negative in your life. Uh, like, you know, I had friends that were negative and I'm like, I can't do this, I can't do this. I'm, I'm, I quit seeing those friends. And, and, and when that happens, your life moves more positive, more fully. And it's just about keeping a positive mind. And we need that right now. Ash is saying last week or the fourth or whatever it was, was to set your mind because we're about to blow this thing up and he don't want to leave you behind. And if, and if you're not keeping up as far as mentally, it's not going to work for you. You can have all the money you want in the world, but you're going to be lonely. You don't want that. Who wants to have who wants to have a trillion dollars? I believe this company is gonna be a quadrillion dollar company. That's that's my saying. <laughs> so who wants to have so much money and then there you are sitting and by your pool or going places and you're by yourself? No, you want to share this journey with others, the positive people. And you, that's, that's that's my like, thing on here is he just kept it about mindset. He wants you to do the experiences, the revolutionary, to live it, to practice it. So be in touch, please, if you're a founder, work on that. I'm not telling you what to do, but know that when you're in a better place, you're yes. down the line, whether it be in business or your personal life. It's a win, win, win all the way around. Our CEO, the company knows what he was talking about. He's been there. You have to change your mindset. You have to quit thinking negative. I know it's hard when you're in a spot in your life that is so negative. I've been there. I, you know, I'm not going to tell you I'm still there, but I've been there. You have to change it. And it can be so hard to do when things are so negative, just negative that things thrown at you every day. Negative, negative, negative. You have to change it. So I learned this at one other thing I was at. 
you put a rubber band on your wrist. I know you're all going to laugh. <laughs> you put a rubber band on your wrist, and every time you have a negative thought, I think it was Tony Robbins, I don't remember exactly who shared this with me. Um, you put a rubber band on your wrist, and then every time you get a negative thought, you snap it. So then it creates like a thingy in your brain. So, uh oh, change that thought to a positive, whether it be like maybe thinking of your kids, maybe thinking of a happy time you had so that it can reinvert and change it back to a positive. So um, I didn't take, you know, I, I took some notes, but I didn't go by them because I want to share with my heart. So we want to leave a positive impact on our world. It's not about the money we have left behind here. It's more things are important to our world and know that everybody here are important. Whether you think so or not, I know everybody knows me by now. I've got to say that. I have to say that because there may be one person out there who thinks that they're not important in this world. You have gifts. Please share your gift, whatever that is. Maybe it's simply just listening. I'm one of those people who are kind of a good listener. So whatever that gift is for you, please share it. Because when it's, I hate to say this, when we're under the ground, there's no way to share that gift. And you may have to have a gift that's going to help not only you, but so many people in the world. And mind you, this is a worldwide company, and we're about to shake up this world and change it and make it a better place. So please do yourself a favor, whether it be meditate, pray, whatever it is for you, get in the positive mode. Maybe it's just going to the ocean. Maybe it's just listening to ocean or, or outside things on, a, on a, a site that you can get. I hate to be long here, but please know I love you guys all the pieces. You are wonderful. Wonderful. You are amazing. You are perfect, as Ash says. And you do have one thing you can contribute to your own business. That's all I have for you, Julie and everybody. Love you guys all the pieces. Thank you, sir, Mr. Ash, and your family from the very bottom of our heart to making this world a way better place. I'll see you all at the next level of talk. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. Uh, you know, we are sitting here today among friends. So we speak our heart and we speak our mind. So um, I personally reached out to a few of my friends that are very close that I search for knowledge and wisdom. And they are here and I would love to have them speaking today. Uh, I know we have Michael William, John White, Marty DeGamo, Susie. Uh, McCray, we have uh, Angie Hans, we have Chris Johnson, and we have so many friends uh, that I do. I call them out and I said, you know, if I can search for your, your thoughts, your knowledge. And so um, please, when you are coming on to share with us, please know that we are all friends here and we all came into on passive the same way as everyone else. So just let's be real today. So uh, I also wanted to take this opportunity to welcome all our friends that are joining us today. You are amazing people. You know who you are. Lynn Nakamoto, John Barilla, uh, you know, Roy Davies. There are so many friends that, that needs to be acknowledged, that needs to be uh, recognized we are a family together just please know that and i'm also call out to everyone that if you have talent of speaking of doing something something that you have please reach out to help someone to do something to talk to some people and and because this is our business our individual business that we are getting together we each of us has this business that we we love and together we built this on passive together with our ceo and with all the tech team i'm gonna try to find <laughs> so thank you so much uh everyone so i would love to hear from michael william let's start with you michael please and if anyone, wait, while we're waiting for Michael to unmute his mic, if anyone would like to speak, I called for you to raise your hands, please. Michael. Why you got to start with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear from Susie. <laughs> uh, um, here's the thing, folks. Um, you know, all of us have to go back to the reason why 
we joined on passive? Like, why did we get involved in the first place? Right? Whether it was six months ago, two years ago, three years, doesn't matter when it was, but why did you join? Okay. So go back to that reason why you joined. And as your journey continued with on passive, you know, how did it change for you? Right? What are some of the things that you decided to change from your original thought as to why you got into on passive? Right? Think of the friends that you've met along the way. Right? Think of the you know, messages that you received, right? The ideas you know, that was developed out of listening and hearing from others speak about on passive and what they believe on passive is, what on passive is going to do, not just for themselves and their family, but the global family, right? Think about those things, folks, because I'm sure those are all happy things. You had up happy thoughts. You know, you were excited, right? You know, and so for me, that excitement has never changed. It has never wavered. Our CEO, you know, asked, you know, about being impressed. And I'm not looking for him to impress me. I'm not looking for a passive to impress me. I'm not looking for no other founder to impress me. I know what I see on passive. It's as simple as that, right? And for all of us, right, we should have that revelation. We should have, you know, what it is that we see on passive. What do we believe on passive is going to do for us? Because of course it starts with us, right? And, you know, I've said it before, I think people, you know, maybe off in La La Land, if they think that, you know, they didn't join because of money, because that's why you join a business, right? On passive is not a cult, right? On passive is not about um, religion, it's not about politics, right? It's a business first and foremost, okay? A lot of good things can come out of that, right? You can meet friends in business, right? You can have a new family in business, okay? With on passive, we get to cultivate the mindset that we want to have in doing business. See, that's the difference, folks. Right? Most times we join a business and it is what it is. You just go along with it, you just do the same old, same old. You join the next business and it's the same thing over and over again. There's no difference, right? From company A to B to C. No difference. It's the same thing, right? And usually the result is what? Failure after failure after failure. So here comes a business that says, you know what, enough is enough. We can actually put together something that is worthwhile. We can put together something that people can trust. But guess what? Along the way, people get caught up in their own situation. People get caught up in that, well, I need money right now. I need to pay the bills. My kids them, you know, don't have no food. Whatever the case may be, right? And then we put all that burden on top of one passive. Now, does that make sense? Does it make sense for us to do that? We put all of our burden on top of on passive. Come on, on passive. When are you going to launch? Come on, on passive. When are you going to pay me some money? When am I going to earn some income? Right? This is what we do. And I was thinking to myself, are you kidding me? You pay $97 to join this business, and these are the expectations that you want right now, as opposed to we go through the process, we enjoy the journey, we lock arms, we support each other, right? We, so, we say we're a family, but we need to support each other if we are truly a family, right? And look at what is going to happen over time. If we look at any other good business, so I'm talking about the Microsoft, the Apples, you know, good business, business have been around for, for, for you know, a long time, right? And we go back to those businesses and we say, okay, well, when did they start? How long did it take for them to start being profitable, right? When did the public actually, you know, became aware of them? When they became popular, right? Did it happen in one year? Did it happen in five years? Did it happen in 10 years? You understand, folks? Go, you can go on the internet and find the stuff out. This is not something that's hidden, right? You can take Microsoft. Look when they got started. I believe 1975, right? Look at when they decided to even incorporate so they got started, they weren't even a corporation when they got started. Okay, it took them about six years before they actually incorporate the business. Six years, right? And when did they become popular? You understand? 
It's not something that's done overnight, folks. So here we have a business that, as far as I'm concerned, is growing by leaps and bounds, right? And yet you want to rush it. Okay? There's no need for a rush. Now, I'm not saying I don't need money. I'm not saying that we don't need money. Of course we do. That's why we joined the business. You understand? But it takes time, though, folks. It takes time. No one is sitting around, you know, twirling their thumbs and saying, ah, let these people wait. Let's drag it out. You know, let's, let's purposely not launch it. Let's purposely not sell products. Are you kidding me? Do you know all the ins and outs that have to go into this business for it to get to the place where we can actually start selling products and generate an income from that? To do this, not just in one country, but over 200 countries around the world that have different laws and regulations. Seriously, folks? Okay, we have to go back to that. We always talk about love, 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 love. But where is the love? You understand? Where is the love? No one is saying that you should worship Mr. Ashmafar because he's just a man. He's a man like me, he's a man like you, he's a human being like all of us, right? Well, it doesn't mean that you can't show gratitude, right? Don't your children show gratitude to you when you do something good for them? No, don't you show gratitude when a friend does something good for you? You understand? So we can show gratitude, we can be thankful, right? It's all in order. Right? And think about this. We have the opportunity, as been said earlier, to get our minds right. We have that opportunity. Why? Because take lottery winners. Right? I think it's like 70% or so of them. They lose it all within a five-year time span. doesn't matter if it's a, a million-dollar uh, winning or a few hundred do uh, million dollars. You understand? They lose it all within five years, around 70% of them. Why? Because they're not used to that kind of money. So can you imagine, here you are, you have your job and you make $1,000 a month at your job. And because you decide to make the decision to get into Unpassive, Unpassive goes on to work for you, do all the heavy lifting for you, right? They're doing all, the, all of that for you in order for what? To put money in your pocket so you can live a good life a decent life, a life that was intended for you from the day you were born, right? And now you're making more than this thousand dollars a month that you're used to. But can you manage that? Can you? Do you know what to do with it so that it doesn't just disappear? You don't just spend on frivolous things? For you to actually put it to work so it can even manifest even more for you? You understand, folks? We have that opportunity now. People saying, well, what if we launch and I don't have the money to pay for my product package to activate my account? We have the time now to work on these things. You understand, folks? So take that time and use it wisely. No one is saying that you have to attend every single webinar that exists. I don't attend every webinar that exists. Why would I? It's not necessary. But it doesn't mean I stay away and don't try to listen, be engaged, to understand what's going on, right? I have people say, oh, is Otatomy launching on the 19th of August? Is that true? Is it, is it correct? Guess what, folks? When August 19th comes, you will see. <laughs> you understand me? You will see. Whether you know, yes, that is correct, or no, it's incorrect, it doesn't matter. August 19th is going to come, and it's going to go, right? Just like if you knew when the launch date was going to be, it's going to come and it's going to go. Are, is, is that all this business is about? Is What is the launch date? Or are we looking five years down the road, 10 years down the road, 20 years down? We're talking about generation upon generation upon generation, and we're talking about a launch date? Folks, put everything into perspective. Most of us, most of us have joined so many businesses and we've lost time and time again. And if you have this one business that guarantees your success, now the company doesn't guarantee how much money you're going to make, but it guarantees your success, meaning you're going to win, not maybe, not if, not let's try, right? We've heard the phrase, it's a done deal, right? We're going to win. So what are you going to worry about? 
you fail, 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 fail. Maybe you made a little money here, a little money there, but certainly not to your expectation, right? So here we are on passive that is going to change all of that. Here we are with a company that's going to touch billions, with a B, billions of people's lives. It's going to, folks. One way or the other, it's going to. Whether it's providing a, a, a more cost-effective means of learning, right? Whether it means to, to find a more cost-effective way of communication, right? A more cost-effective way to do business. You understand? There's so many different ways it's going to impact people's lives. Maybe it's going to help a community get clean water, right? Give them affordable housing. There's so many things, so many good things that on passive will do. Not maybe it's going to do it. It will. Okay, it will. Right. So if we know this, then all we have to do is sit back and relax. You see how simple that is. We make things complicated for no reason at all. None whatsoever. Right? Because guess what? You know, as someone mentioned about coming to a meeting with expectations, so here comes like anxiety. Is anxiety a good thing for your health? Was it necessary? <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't necessary to come to the meeting with preconceived ideas, right? It wasn't necessary. You come, you enjoy the message. Thank you very much. Until next time. Because you're in a positive atmosphere. Just the fact that you hear positive things coming into your brain, it does a, a lot of good for your health. It does, folks. I try my best not to be negative in all circumstances, even when things are bad. Okay? Because at the end of the day, my health is more important than the money, right? So I'm going to make sure that I stay in a positive mindset so that my health continue to be well, right? Anything that I can do to improve upon my health, I'm going to do it. And one of those things is staying positive, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how things, you know, how bad things may be. You understand me? Because guess what? You've survived it and you're going to survive it going forward. A year ago, you were saying you need the money right now. Guess what? A year later, and you're still in the land of the living, right? You understand, folks? These are just things, constraints that we put upon ourselves. It's unnecessary. Just breathe. Just relax. You understand? It's going to happen. And when it does, when it does, okay, you're going to be even more excited than any other time in your life. You will, because now it's going to help you to be able to do the things in life that you really want to do. Okay? So let me just pause before I keep going. Back to you, Julie. Thank you so much, Michael. It's, um, it's amazing how we can take this far, how, how we are getting here together and just keeping that smile up. I wanted to, uh, kind of not giving a tip, but I wanted to share this with you just a little bit, very short, is that when I look at on passive, for me to look at the on passive, it's just me and on passive, right? I did not put a filter, right? I didn't put a filter of my past in. Like, you know how we always do with like, oh, I've done this and I went through this business and it failed. And that is a filter that many of us, we do that all, all the time. And we do this in life too, not just in business. We put that filter and that filter it's so like unfortunate failures and dirty, you know, like cancer. That filter is full of it. So what we what we want, if we want to see what Michael said, and many of us are going to say here, we have to remove that filter away from it, right? Look at on passive as us looking at this opportunity. So that's why I always say the belt filter when I say things like that. We got to remove that away in order to see on passive as on passive, right? Not through our past experiences, not through our current situations. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. As a reminder, uh, if you could please raise your hand if you like to speak today. And, and if possible, please raise your hand and 
please be patient. Uh, we, we're going to get everyone through. And then tonight, we're going to replace this webinar at 8 p.m. Thank you so much for joining us. Stella, you are up next. Please go ahead and unmute your mic. Stella Etta? Okay, Stella, I'm going to move. Oh, go ahead, please. We, we can't hear you, Stella. All right, Stella, we're going to move forward to Susie. If you don't mind, Stella, um, you can leave and then come back and then adjust the, the volume. That's usually how I ask people do. So if you like to just um, adjust your volume on your end and then we'll bring you back on. Susie McCray, so good to have you here, Susie. Please go hey. ahead. Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? <laughs> good to see everyone. So I'm gonna get on my soapbox a little bit if that's okay. Um, when I saw the subject line of this webinar, um, I started thinking about, you know, why are we having this webinar about getting real? And I'm by no means perfect, but I'm going to say a few things when um, I saw this. I think the people here are, we're preaching to the choir, you know, the people who are here that are listening to this. Um, what I would like to see everyone do is we have a choice. Like Michael was saying, we have a choice. You can sit and you can worry and you can put your body through that worry and that stress with expectations, or you can choose to be happy. Uh, one of the things I remember Ash saying, you can be happy when this happens, when this happens, when this happens, and it's always looking for the next thing to be happy. So are you happy now? So take a look, are you happy now? Regardless of whether or not on passive has launched or everything has happened in the time frame that you want it to or not. Are you happy right now? Because if you are, that's great because you're gonna bring that forward every day as we go on this journey. So you have a choice to look at that. The one thing that seems to be troubling to me is the negativity that is coming across sometimes in different ways from different people, maybe different groups, different things you see posting. And this is what I'd like to say to that. You can either decide to step up when you see this stuff, step up when you hear someone uh, criticizing someone, ridiculing someone, um, making fun of someone in a bad way, not a fun loving way. When you start hearing that stuff as a founder and a representative of the company, you have a choice, step up or step down and join them in that crap. And as you step in that crap, it gets harder and harder for you to move because you're stuck. You're stuck in crap. And all of a sudden it's a reflection of you, not them. So what I'd like to have everyone commit to is um, why, uh, why is there negative talk? Why is there uh, ridicule of other people? Sure, there are some rats out there. I love using that word. <laughs> There's some rats out there. There's some people maybe not doing things the way they're supposed to. There's people not behaving the way they're supposed to. There's people criticizing people there are self-serving people out there that want the limelight, whatever. Doesn't matter. Do you step up and avoid those conversations and avoid that negative vibe? Or do you step down and get caught in the crap? Now, like I said, I'm not perfect by any means. Yes, I do have conversations. Sometimes I get caught up in things talking about other people, whether in on passive, personal life, I am not perfect. But today, I am putting out a pledge to everyone to pledge to have zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Do what our CEO does. He finds the good in people. 
So whether you're having an issue with other people or their behavior or how they're being as a founder or they're not following the rules, you step up and you exemplify the right behavior. Don't step down and say no, have zero tolerance, and it will spread like wildfire. So like I said, people here today were preaching to the choir, but when you leave this webinar and things get thrown at you or you hear or see things, you have a choice, up or down. So I say, let's all step up, zero tolerance, as we support our CEO and the launch of Unpassive. So that's it, I'm off my soapbox, Julie. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. We call let's get real today, right? So let's get real. And I appreciate you saying that, Susie, because many of us, you know, um, we, we got choices to make every single day. So let's make a choice to step up instead. And, and I understand that there are many of us that show up on webinars and webinars, and we heard this already, but what you what we are taking from this webinar and share it to the people that haven't heard it that wants to that needs to be heard of what we're sharing here that's why we had a replace tonight right and 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 that i you know the the whole thing of this this whole entire webinar is just to in, empower many of us more we all have that power but if we could take what we hear today and empower ourselves and other so that we can walk and prepare for this launch of one passive. So thank you so much, Susie, for, for get on to your soap opera and I love it. All right, Marty, I'd love to hear from you, Marty. Hello everyone. I'm Marty DeGarmo and I am your friend. Now I'm not gonna get on the soapbox though because I'll crush it. But um yeah, you know, I'm I'm looking at this and I I get frustrated in people anticipating something that I don't understand why they do it, why they put themselves through that misery of uh, what they expect. You know, we I've gone to meetings and come out and go, wow, that was explosive. And then I hear, not directly, indirectly, because people don't come to me and tell me stuff like that because I don't handle it well. But I hear indirectly how, well, I was disappointed or this happened or that happened. I'm going, we just heard this, this, and this. How could and and it has it has to go with what everybody's talking about today is entering a webinar with what you think you need to hear. And let's keep in mind, we're not doing any of the heavy lifting. We're not doing any of the hard stuff. I think the guy that's doing the hard stuff and the people that are involved in that, I think they should have a better outlook on it than we do. So they feed us what they can feed us. And Mr. McFarr tells us the truth. If you can't handle the truth, don't go. But i tell you what, over 25 years, I've been working on some type of business like MLM, affiliate marketing, email marketing, whatever, 15 years online before I saw Unpassive. And everything about Unpassive is the plus to everything negative in anything else I've ever done. I've been to 30 or 35 launches. Every one of those, I paid every month until it launched. Out of the 30, none of them made it. And I'll tell you why. Most of them in the first day, a lot after about two weeks, and all of them were gone in six months. And it all had to do with preparation. They were not prepared to be a business. It all looked good, it sounded good, but it wasn't ready. So Mr. McFarr comes on and shows us how to prepare for four years. Let's be honest, uh, three years. He didn't decide to build this monster until about 2019. When I came in here, I thought, just like Mike, Michael and, and everybody else, I came in to make money, but I also was very important to me that I don't bring people in and they get ripped off again. Bad enough if I do, but because I could do a little bit of marketing, I didn't want to bring people in because I, I burned so many people, not on purpose, you want to help them, but it's rigged against you. The company's not designed to help everyone. 
Like when I heard about this company, and I never saw these tapes, I never saw that, I just heard from Red and Peter Rogers. And I thought, wow, this is 10% of what I heard. I have to see what it is for 97 bucks. I have to know. And every month that went by, by the end of 2019, well, yeah, by the middle of 2019, I realized this is huge. I didn't know it was this big, by the way. But I heard this man talk as we followed. I thought, there's got to be something wrong with him. Who would do this, take all this heat for complete strangers? And now I realized he is that person. He is what you, who you see. Some of you have had the fortunate, uh, we're fortunate enough to meet him in person. But he is that person. And you know, you hear people say, well, I don't want to wait. Okay, don't. I'll help you get your money back. There's one thing I could do. I can help you get your money back. I don't want you to say if you don't want to be here. I don't get that a lot, but indirectly I hear it. And I ask them, well, what, what is your plan B? Well, I'm going to go back and market. Well, how well did you do on that? And I say, I can bet you did horrible. Well, you have no right to say that. I said, well, I think I do. 98% of the people lose money. 1% lies. The other percent is Tony Robbins. Is your name Tony Robbins? It wasn't the last time I met you. And by the way, he has to market every day or he'll be forgotten. We're in a company where they do everything for you. All the weightlifting, all the stuff. While Mr. McFarland is walking to Calmanor waist high, dodging arrows. And I'm going to sit back and go, I didn't hear what I wanted to hear. Uh, I have trouble with that, okay? For one thing, we know we're going to be successful. That's a, that's a plus. That's a promise. But if you go to the meeting or you go anywhere with expectations of what you think you should hear, keep in mind, put yourself in a memory. Remember where you came from. Remember who you are. And I'm not putting anybody down. But I guarantee you're one of the 98%. Because numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. And it, there is no plan B. You take your $97 and be gone to two, two bags of groceries. Now you're not a founder and you don't have the, the position. It, it just doesn't make sense. But if you're going to go listen to what's being said, because big things are happening. Why is Mr. Mufara building the largest landing strip on the planet? Why is it 15 feet deep of concrete? Because he's building a foundation for the biggest thing that ever hit this planet. And if all we have to do is wait, if that's just way too much for some people, and I know it's not you, all of us, all of you are tied in. But if you have worry and all that, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, I never once in three and a half years had some of this stuff that people go through. Not once. Absolutely not once. For one thing, everything that ever happened, from my experience, I thought would take eight years, the more I learned. To know where we are now in that little bit of time, all done for me, for an embarrassing $97, embarrassing $97, and I'm going to complain, yeah, take that somewhere else, it's not me. I'm not that guy you got to go to and, and bring up anything like that. Be happy. You've been blessed. And this is not welfare. If you're running out of money and things are a problem, go get a job. But if, if you wait, thank God Ash doesn't go by emotions. He's going to let this go when it goes. I don't know everything that Mike Williams did. I don't know what some of the marketers here did. But I know this. We've all seen really bad things. So when you see something that's good, you really, really appreciate it. And, and we got great people here. And I'm really not talking to people here. It's probably people that aren't here. But do the best you can. Like you said, you don't have to go to every webinar. But I, I, I mean this. If you plug in, your anxiety will disappear. If you get to the level I am, and I don't know everything, has put the news to me that I know one thousandth of one percent. I'm a I'm a pimple, but it was enough for me 
I don't, if I didn't know anymore, I'm, I'm good to go. Why tor torment yourself? It doesn't make sense. There's no reason to get yourself all balled up in something you can't change. And all you do is, all you have to do is wait. People ask me the craziest stuff. How much leeway do I have before I have to make my payment? You got leeway right now. You had leeway two years ago. Save up a nickel you'd have it by now if you did. So, yeah, I, I, listen, the main thing is if you're around someone negative, cut them loose. I don't care if they're your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. Cut them loose as far as I'm passing. Don't bring it up to them. It's not worth it. I don't. I know what I have. I know what we're getting. I know 101% of what we're getting. And that's a big deal. That's life changing. It's life changing. Everybody on the planet, just about everybody on the planet, will directly or indirectly be involved in Unpass. The day will come you log in and you'll be in Unpass. It will be Unpass. I believe that. At first, I didn't, but I think directly or indirectly, everybody's going to know what Unpass is. And if you can't wait a little bit, let me tell you what. If this thing does something wrong, Ash will be the most worthless individual that ever walked. If it does well, I know a lot of us are going to go, I knew it. I had him 100%. But either way, he takes the heat. He's walking now to crap, getting dodging arrows. And you know where a lot of his headaches come from? Founders. Founders. The very people he's trying to help. That's just disgusting. Thank God he is who he is. Because I couldn't do it. Honestly, I couldn't do it. No, no, no. I'd be popping somebody in the head. But anyway, yeah, just don't focus on something you can't change. And trust me, if you get in tight enough, you got a smile on your face, you can wait. Because what's about to happen will change everybody's world. It will change everybody's world. All across this whole world, everywhere, every corner of the planet. But just, just try to imagine for two minutes what it takes to get all this locked together, all the payment structures, all the different nationalities, all the different governments. The one government says you can't have this on the page. The other one that says, well, you can't say it like that. You, you know what happens? Ash walks into a room. And on the other side of the table, the first thing he ha hears is you can't do that. Every meeting he goes at, well, here's what I want to do. You can't do that. But I'll find somebody that can. Okay, well, let us work on it. Seriously, you think he just goes in and it happens? Never. Not what he wants to do, because everybody always automatically goes back in history and goes, we've never seen this before. You can't do it. And that's just, no. Oh, I think we can. Thank God. Thank God he's willing to walk through that crack. But, you know, the, another thing I want to say, if you've got whiners coming up to you, and then you say, well, Marty, you're lucky you don't. Think about what you're saying. You know why they don't come to me? I don't breastfeed. Uh, it's out of my pay grade. I don't do it. If people see they can dump on you, they're going to dump on you. If you got, if you're weak and, and you're just an emotional wreck, wreck, I'll help you if I can. But you're not allowed to dump on me. You're not allowed to dump on me. You guys should be the same way. Because if you get enough trash on you, guess what? You get stinky too. And you start to get a little negative. Don't take it. It's not worth it. You stay positive no matter what happens around you. And people will stay with you. A couple might fall up here and there. But you, you go in doubt, you can hurt a lot of people. Smile on your face, go. If, you got, if you're upset, close your computer and slam your head on the table a few times. It'll work. But anyway, I love you all. And uh, yeah, just keep the faith. We're, we're about to enter something that is mind-blowing. I believe that with all my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marty. Wow, wow.
You know, when you, you, when you are listening to, uh, when we listening to what Marty is saying, we can see the love and the empathy that Ash has for, for all of us, if we haven't recognized it. And, and, and I understand many of us here do, but the people that will be listening to these messages, we need to know that there's so much love and, and, and there's so much commitment in this guy, in this Ash Mufar that gave it to us. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, two evenings ago, I couldn't sleep. I was actually crying because I, 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 I certainly felt that, um, that pain that, I, I know he doesn't share that with us, but I felt that pain somehow, somewhat through Mr. Mufara. And, uh, you know, he has so much empathy. I mean, look at his, one of his manager whose dad passed away. He has to see that. And, 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 and everything that Marty said here, someday I wish I could feel a little bit of what he has to go through his day to see how it is. And I know all of us here wanted to know how it is too. So anytime when there is some things that enter into our mind, just look how this man is going through, right? Our, our tech team of the his entire family. So anytime when there's a little bit of negative or doubt or despair thoughts that we have, just say, hey, look what this guy is doing for all of us. So um, thank you, Marty, for sharing some of what you experienced. And I know you do talk with him every day. We appreciate you sharing that. All right, I would like to give Stella a chance to come back in. Stella, I see you there. I see your mic is open, but there's no noise coming on your end. So please say something. There, there's still, there's still no, no uh, sound coming from you, Stella. Um, I would say, Stella, I don't know if you have left the meeting yet, but let, leave the meeting and then maybe reboot your computer and then go back in to see if it works. And once you go back in, Stella, just raise your hand and we'll bring you right up, okay? Thank you, Stella. Thank you. Love you. See, I'll see you soon. I'll, I'll, I'm expecting you coming back and speak because we love to hear from you. Raj uh, from India, if you could uh, please unmute your mic. Yeah, hello, Julie. Can you hear me? Yes, hello. we can hear you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for inviting me and myself, Raj Agarwal from India. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Ash Muffer for giving me a chance to become a founder in this company called On Passive. And, uh, I would like to say that the reason I joined on Passive was uh, the first day when I attended the seminar, uh, I joined in the uh, month of February 2021. That was the 11th of February 2021. I joined on Passive. And uh, prior to that, I attended the meeting on 9th of February. Uh, that was a seminar which was happening in here in a place. So there, uh, listen to the meeting. It was about three and a half hours meeting. But only and there were three takeaways for me. Uh, first thing was that this is not an MLM company, so I don't need to sell any product. I don't need to do any recruitment to earn money. And second thing was it's about artificial intelligence and machine learning. So it's all automated. Everything will be done on behalf of us by the company and we get a residual income out of this. So that was the second takeaway. And the third takeaway from the meeting was about the vision of Mr. Ash Mukhar. That was very interesting for me because I have been into charity for a long time, uh, not on a bigger scale, but whatever uh, I can afford, I try to help people who are really needy or like for the elderly people generally. I try to help them. So when I heard about uh, Mr. Ashmukhar's uh, idea about uplifting the humanity, that appealed to me greatly. So finally, I joined and passed it. The thing I would like to tell about to the founders who are just uh, a bit skeptical about this, the whole thing, I would like to tell them one thing, that please try to put yourself into the shoes of Mr. Ashmukhar. 
and see what he's been doing. Say for instance, till now, whatever he has done for the last four years, tomorrow if he comes and tells you, hey, see what I've done, I've done. Now from here, you take on. So are you willing to take on? Are you willing to do something? Will you be able to pull up? Will you be able to launch it tomorrow? Is it possible for you? You need to first think of that. What we have given, we have given $97. I just tell you, there's, I, I think, about 200 countries we are trying to uh, cover up. So I ask everybody, do a calculation. Say $97, convert into your own currency and try to find out what sort of business you can start up with that amount of money and how long will it take you to break even. And finally, will it sustain? How long will it sustain? So these are the things. So first you need to understand the human being, Mr. Ashley. He is doing it for us. And we are criticizing him. We are saying a lot of things about um, like what he's doing, why he's taking so much time and all. I don't think we should be doing that. Rather, we should wait patiently and we should fully support Mr. Ash Mopare for what he's doing for us. Because, say for instance, he's been investing so much money. Is he earning out of anything? This on passive, till now, he hasn't earned anything. But the thing is, he's still building up. He's building up for us. So he should have done this business alone also. There's no point in taking us as founders because at $97, what we are paying, it's nothing. It's just peanuts in terms of what returns we are expecting. So the thing is that instead of criticizing, instead of uh, just making our own assumptions or just trying to say or think like, okay, when it's going to launch, when, when, when you are going to make money, I don't think that should be a bigger question. Because first you think, prior to OnePassing, the day you didn't join OnePassing, what were you doing? You need to find out that. So please stick to that, continue your job, continue your work, and wait for on passive launch. Let Mr. Ash Mukhari decide the day he will think that this is the right thing to launch. Obviously, he will launch. But please give him some time. Let him work on it. It takes time. It's taken four years. It might take one more year. So we need to understand that and we need to adjust ourselves and give time to Mr. Ashwakari to think. He, he also knows that, say, 1.4 million people are waiting. They are all expecting something from Mr. Ashwakari. He also knows that. And he's not sitting idle. And as Marty was saying, I'm a great fan of Marty. I love Chris. I love Red. And there are so many leaders here right now. I've been listening to them. This is the first time I'm speaking. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I might sound jittery. Because it's the first time I'm speaking on an international webinar. So I'm sorry about that. But the thing is that what I would like to say, as Martin was saying, that the thing is uh, just, I missed out. I'm sorry. So actually, uh, like, as Martin was saying about the, uh, the thing, like, as Ash Mohara is doing, and uh, as people are uh, just tripping out that we have paid $97 or uh, like what would be the package or we haven't got the money. So yes, well, as you rightly said, that for last say, for one year, two year, three years, you have joined on passive. So you know, you expect something that they like, say it could be say $150 or $200. So you should have been saving that money. You can't say that, oh, I don't have the money to buy the package, so what will happen? So these things, now you can't expect Ash Mokari to take everything and he will do everything for you. He can spoon feed you. So it's something you have to do yourself also. So uh, I won't take much of your time. And I would like to again thank everybody, all the LC members. Um, uh, I've been posting on, on passive nation and there already. And always I'm a regular on my back office. I log in there also. I have a lot of posts. I've written motivational words there also. So I would like people to visit uh, my post on the own network. Have a look on that. I'd like to thank you, everyone. Thank you, Julie, for inviting. Thank you so much, Raj. Where have you been? <laughs> I'm in India and Kolkata. 
Yes, you spoke beautifully and you need to come out more and you need to speak more, do more video. Um, and please, your words are very inspiring. Uh, so please come out more and speak more. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, John White, you are up next, if you would please. Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me uh, to this uh, happening of all positive founders in our passive. Thank you, Mr. Ashna Fari, your family, and the uh, high tech team that we are so proud of. I just want for a moment to kind of think how Mr. Mafari should be feeling right now. What if he were a person who would doubt? What if he were unsure of himself? What if he were a pilot in an airplane? Would you feel safe flying with him and he's directing that plane? You wouldn't. And yet, this is what happens in a war, people get hurt more by friendly fire than from the fire outside of that. He's been going through all kinds of uh, trials and tribulations, but when he comes on the webinar, you don't see that. He's smiling. When you are positive, that's powerful. But even more, there's a belief that negativity can only be overcome by 13 pieces of positive input. This is what we should have. We're no longer talking about a company that is manufacturing digital products. It's much bigger than that. Great things take a long time to develop. But just think of where we are today. All of us are sitting in a very, very incredible position. We are coming on to a company that's really got brick and mortar buildings that have employed hundreds of technical people to develop what we have right now. There aren't any virtual offices. There aren't any storefronts. And behind that storefront sits somebody sitting on his sofa trying to get people to get involved in something. This company by Mr. Mafari is going to completely change the course of doing business. Stop feeling the way he feels when there's positively uh, positive things. All of us should be a part of it. No one should have in their minds doubt, because if you're plugged in, there's no doubt. If you're plugged in, there's no fear. If you love Mr. Mafara and put yourself in this position here in this family position, you wouldn't feel that way. All of the corporate giants in the past started out very, very small, like Amazon was a seller of used books. And what are they now? Maybe in the beginning, the owners might have thought so well you know I, I i want to have people with me but oh uh, that's too much i'm going to just have a select few a select few that i can share my heart with and they started and it took years and years to get where they are most people see a finished product and say wow man if i'd only been when Amazon started, when Google started, I will be said, well, we are here 
with um, passing. The only difference is that Mr. McFarren has extended this gift of um, passing to common people. And these common people are going to rise to uncommon heights. We have a company, a corporation, an IT giant that is a company or a giant company that really produces industries in whatever niche that industry is in. We have products, digital products that are being developed by artificial intelligence. That if that one, uh, one particular product were to go in that niche or that industry, they will be the number one company in that niche. And yet we have dozens of them in different niches that once they're released, could just dominate it. So it's more than a developer of digital products. It is a developer of products that would dominate disrupt and change the course of doing business uh, forever on the internet. So give our love, give our respect, give our patience, give our trust in Mr. Mofari. There's never been a human in business who has given their all with incredible sacrifices, people that he's never met. But that's the essence of the love that he has for, for humans, for mankind in general. And when he took the mantle and said, I am going to help as many people as possible because I have been, this is what he's saying, I've been in this space for over 20 plus years. I've seen the failures. So I know how to overcome that failure. And most happens because of lack of preparation. So when he's developing products and opening offices in their, uh, various parts of the world, that is something that we should be greatly joyful for because he has an ability to take the risks out of on passive and put it all on him. So we want to surround ourselves with positive people. Only the negative ones should be outside of um, passive. And even they are going to come in because, like Marty said, once you log in, you're logging in to our um, passive because we're going to have everything that everyone needs all of our dreams and hopes are going to be fulfilled. Just continue to listen to Mr. Mafara. He knows what he's doing. He's got all of us on his back, and he's doing it without a back brace. We want everybody to have that type of mindset, and we can do it by putting positive things into our mind. Because when you put positive things into our minds, we get positive things out. But if you put garbage in your mind, you're going to spew garbage out. So none of us wants to be in, in that particular situation. So thank you, Mr. Mathara. Thank you all uh, for being partners in this incredible monumental business that is going to shape the face of this planet for a long time. Thank you. Wow. Damn, John, drop the mic. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. Drop the mic. And I got chills running through my body right now. John, thank you so much for your word of wisdom. And thank you for speaking it beautifully. We really appreciate you. All right. Uh, we'll move on. I saw Stella came back. And uh, Stella, are you still with us, Stella? I saw you came back on your phone. Julie, she left you a message in the chat. She had to go. We'll catch you next time, I believe. Oh, uh, all right. 
so sorry. I, I really like to hear her speak. We we'll hope that she'll come back um, sometime soon. All right, let's move on to Akram. Akram from Bangladesh. Good to have you here, Akram. Please unmute your mic. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Julie, uh, for arranging a nice webinar. This time is the best time to participate for Bangladesh and India's founders. This is the really good time for, uh, for us because uh, it's just 11 p.m. just to start to do your webinars. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all proud founder members of the planet, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Isam Akram Hussain from Bangladesh, and I am your friend. Uh, if I ask me, uh, are you investor in on passive? Are you employee in on passive? Or are you businessman? Definitely, my answer will be, I am a businessman. Uh, if I am a really businessman, then I have to maintain some quality during the business journey. Then I have to be patient until anything completion. I have to take risk mentality. I have to be visionary person. If we can adopt our beloved CEO mentality, I mean his business mentality, do or die, then just think, if we are all founders are same mentality, then our company position will be always, always stop month to month or year to year. It's no doubt. So, but we are in the different con corner, but it is not possible. I know very well, but this, that should be actually we, we maintain. And anyway, I'd like to request some community leader on PCB and YouTube here. Please don't circulate or speech of your own thinking about on PCB any information to the audience or on PCB. Just recommend to the founders by the webinar to check only back office regular update or ash update. At the same time, every time or uh, uh, everyone of on PCB or at least community leaders should join international webinar for update ourselves as active founders. I know most of the community leader join the international webinar, but I am requesting some of the community leader, maybe they don't uh, attend the international webinars. They only do their community, their webinars. Their, their, webinars. their regularly they are uh, doing uh, webinars in their community, but they don't, uh, international webinars, they actually uh, participate. So I particularly address to uh, uh, like some of the community leader. Again, I would like to add some words of Michael Williams. Uh, our company are working 216 countries. There have different rules and resolutions. So need to complete every rules and resolution by the interest of our founders. So please think big, not think your circumstances or your present situation, because this is the big company in the world. This is the history of the world. So our company is a revolutionary of the company. So just think big. So I, I will not, uh, I don't uh, think uh, more because I hope everyone understand that. So we, if we maintain that, so it's not a matter when our company will launch or when our, our product will launch. So there will be no question. Thank you so much, Julie. For thank you so much, chance. Akram. And, and thank you so much for stepping up, stepping out and encouraging other leaders around the world to do and communicate the true message of Unpassive. So really appreciate you stepping up for saying that. Anjay Han, my sister, please unmute your mic. So good to have you here with us. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, I don't know if you feel the same, but we are right now witnessing the power of positivity. Look at all the faces here on the screen. And you, you see the smile, that is positivity. And it's just the feeling you cannot touch it physically, but anyway, uh, not less powerful. It is uplifting and it gives energy and power because we have the same reality. 
And we all know love moves mountains and it's the same with positivity um, and the same with um, the power of the crowd, right? Um, I don't know if you say that in English, but we say that in German, the power of the crowd of people. So um, if you are certain, no negativity can bring you down, never. And in, in my beginnings as a um, founder or as a leader, in the community, um, I was disappointed or sometimes angry when people got negative because um, most um, mostly they they just did not understand. They just looked at their um, I have a financial issue. I need to pay some bill, something like that. They they cannot see the big picture. They are not able to see it because they are focused on their problem. What what is I understand that that's not, that's not the point. But meanwhile, I try to take the challenge to change the negativity into positivity. It's not always worth it. It's not the time is not, uh, not always worth it, and um, it's not always possible. But sometimes it's really only a tiny reason why they are negative. And if you can change that to positivity. Um, that is an uplifting feeling for yourself, for the person you helped, and for the whole community. For me, it is like that. I, I don't know how you feel, but in the end, really, it's the power of the crowd, the power of the positivity. And I love to witness that here today, all the valuable speeches. Thank you so much. And um, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I'm again red like a tomato. Ah. <laughs> Stand wide. You, you, you run a beautiful webinars and, and you were like the, the whole entire country. So um, oh, your, your, yeah. word, your word and you're beautiful and uh, speaking with you, every, not every day, but speaking with you all the time. We see that you're too hard of on Paso. So thank you for everything that you are doing. Uh, for Germany, and uh, thank you for speaking today. I appreciate that. That was really beautiful. Yeah. You say thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And and I understand that some of you, uh, some of us have to leave. Uh, Susie Ukre has left the room. Uh, I know that we have other things that we want to do. I know Michael has a family obli obligations, but before you leave, Michael, I love to. Uh, it, I love to hear some of the, um, you know, encouragement and uh, positivity words from you before you leave. Michael, if you would please unmute your mic. Uh, thanks, Julie. Uh, first of all, again, love what I'm hearing from, you know, all uh, of our leaders that we have here uh, today. Because, you know, all of us, all of us are leaders, okay? There's no big leader, small leader. We're all leaders. If, you, if you're stepping up, that means you're a leader. Okay. Um, today, for some reason, I was thinking about the Apple Store, right? As an Apple Inc., right? The company Apple, and and I, and I think you know it's a fascinating story. And I think a lot of people just spend some time, you know, when you get a chance, and just Google it and and see how much you can find out about that company. Because every time we hear Apple, we're always thinking Steve Jobs, right? But did you know that Steve Jobs was booted out of Apple? Right? He was booted out, right? Um, when you look at when the company started, and after a couple of years, they made me around eight million dollars. I think, right? Um, okay, they decided to go public. So they said, you know what? Let's take the easy way by open up to the public and have them invest in our companies. So they were able to generate just over a hundred million dollars by doing that. Okay, but that company has been up and down, roller coaster all over the place. Right to the point where, as I said, they booted out Steve Jobs. He come back years later. He revamped the entire company. Okay, they had to revamp, and by him revamping the company, guess what happens? They became the first company to be able to generate one trillion dollar valuation. I mean, just think about that. Just think about that number: one trillion. You know what I mean? That's a lot of zeros, folks. Right? But it took them time. It took them, what, 42 years for that to happen? 4-2, 42, 42, right? It's older than some of the people on this panel right now, okay? That's how long it took them to get to that level, okay? Now, what does that have to do with one passive? 
What on positive is doing? They're re-engineering the process. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're re-engineering the process. On positive is saying, okay, let's fix all the bugs. Let's do the revamping. Let's do the restart. Let's do all these things before we actually go to the public, right? And that's what's been going on for the past four years. Okay, let's get everything in place, right? Like everything. So when everything is in place, now we can sell and we don't have to revamp going forward. We won't have to have a restart, none of that stuff. So that's a good thing, folks. It really is, right? And then my last point is this. Who's going to help you, right? Your government? Is your government going to help you? Right? I say no, okay? I say no, they're not going to help you. Your banks. Your bank's going to help you, right? My son, I was just looking at his account the other day because as he get ready for school and he had a few thousand dollars in his account and then I looked at what the interest rate was, 0.2% for the year, like, like 0.2%, not 1%, right? 0.2, less than a percent is what he gets on a few thousand dollars in his account over the course of a whole year. Like, so how is your bank gonna help you in other words, right? They take that money, they lend it out, they generate a higher rate of return for themselves. How are they gonna help you? So the government can't help you. Your banks are not going to help you. What about other financial institutions? What about investing your money in the stock market, right? It's stacked against you. Just like going to a casino, a casino stacked against you. But guess what? You got to make a few people win, just like the lottery. You got to make a few people win because that now stimulate people's mind to say, hey, maybe I could be a winner. So let me go at it again. Do you understand? That's how it works, folks. So what is out there that's going to help us? Your job, right? Your job, how's your job going to help you? It helps you to live, right? As far as being able to pay your bills. And in a lot of cases, even that one job doesn't help you. Right? People are working two jobs, three jobs. If you understand, I'm sure you know some people like that. Right? So what is really going to help you? You turn to the internet, you turn to MLM, you turn to network marketing, you turn to affiliate marketing, you try some trading, you do all these different things and they're all stacked against you. Why? Because you can't trust the people that's running these things. And here comes a man saying, you know what guys, just trust me, trust the process. I am your friend. I'm doing this for you, for your family. I'm doing this for everyone. Just trust. That's, that's all I'm asking you for. I don't need you to go refer no one. Because you know, the majority of you can't refer anyone. Okay? That's facts, folks. Facts, right? You know what? You don't have to go sell anything. Why? Because the majority of you can't sell anything. You understand? Because if you could, if you could refer other people, if you can sell, guess what, you would have been a success already, or you would have experienced success along the way, right? But the truth of the matter is, all of us fail in those areas. Even if you're a good marketer, you're still gonna fail, you understand me? Because you have to keep marketing over and over and over and over, selling over and over and over again, right? You have to keep doing that. Here comes a company that says, you know what? We can automate the entire sales process. We can actually help you, right? You're not good at, no problem, we're gonna do it for you. Okay, but what do you have to do in turn? Stay engaged, be positive, be patient, right? Let us do what we need to do because we know how to do it, okay? We're gonna get it done. And if there's something that we don't know, we will learn it real quick and apply it, right? So that we get to the finish line. That's it, folks. Like, you see how simple that is? All we can do is just sit back, relax. I, I take my kids in, for example. They have an unpassive account. All they have to do is just sit back, relax. They're not saying, hey, hey why, why are you not launching? What's going on? What's this guy doing? Blah, 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 blah. I'm so disappointed in this. I'm disappointed in that. All this. They just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. They, they continue with their lives, knowing that at some point, at some point, there's going to be this thing called unpassive that is going to help them. Right? It's going to help them. They're confident that they know that their business call on passive is going to help them. And they don't have to sit back and say, well, I don't understand AI. I don't understand all this, you know, old academy. Like, what's that all about? Old staff. 
I don't know it. I'm not techie. You understand, folks? None of that stuff. Just be patient. Just relax. Just enjoy the journey. Because when you hold your head up, you're going to be able to hold your very, very high. Why? Because you're part of something that will transform lives. It's as simple as that, folks. It really is. You know? And I just think that all of us just need to continue to walk on it. And again, as Marty said, you know, as Susie said, you know, we're, we're preaching to the choir, okay? You know, it's not about us that's on here, okay? But remember now, there's 1.4 that's in, okay? So for the hundreds of thousands of people out there who are off on some different tangent, you know, again, all of us invited people in. So if you invited someone in, it's also your responsibility to help that person to stay engaged, right? Help them to continue to be positive and trust the process. That's all, right? That's all we have to do because success is ours. So when we understand it from that perspective, that the government's not gonna help us, the banks and other financial institutions not gonna help us, our employer, if you work for someone, is not going to help you, right? Even your families, okay? Some people, even their families is not gonna help us because they're not in a position to do so. But guess what? You will be in a position to be able to help your family as we move forward. So folks, be encouraged, okay? Be encouraged, understand that we're in a complete win, win, win situation, all right? Again, I have to run. So Julie, thanks for having me. Everyone, it's been great to be with you, right? And we look forward, we look forward to celebrating because celebration is coming, all right? It is coming, thank you. Thank you so much, Michael, and thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, that's all. I don't. I didn't need to emphasize <laughs> anything like that. So really appreciate your time being here with us, and and everyone else. We really appreciate your time. We've been here over an hour and a half, um, and we do hope that this is really much needed webinar or or messages that we wanted to uh, hear. So I've received a lot of positive uh, feedbacks and comments. So we do appreciate your time being here. And as you know, we are replaying this again tonight and it will be in the back office uh, just so that we can spread this discussion. This is, we are getting together as friends and we talk about our business, right? So thank you so much for your time being here with us. All right, Emilio, uh, John, Lewis, if you would please unmute your mic. Emilio, thank you so much for your patient being here. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, uh, Ms. Julie. This is my very first time speaking uh, on this international um, webinar. I want to say um, thank you very much, not only this is my first time, but to be able to be on a platform with Chris, Marty, Red, Len, Susie, uh, Michael, you did a great job. John and Raj, thank you for all the inspired words. Um, on passive is basically a blessing. All blessed gonna change the world, gonna change society. Um, I've been in uh, on passive since July 2020. And when I signed up, a friend of mine, to I didn't know, I didn't understand it. I didn't want to understand it. It was a $97 at this guess. I took, I have a family of four. I spent that $97 going to buy some tacos. So um, that was since 2020. Now it probably gonna cost me more than $97 for food tacos. So uh, I just put $97 and guess, you know, hung in there. And it wasn't until um, June when um, when all the um, the position was gonna close, and I really went out there and introduced uh, on passive to some people where I was able to uh, myself sign up about 12, uh, 12 uh, founders. But um, I truly believe in this company. I think we have something good going. And to myself, I said on passive is not it. I don't know what and uh, when I think when I see what uh, Mr. Um, Mofaro is doing uh, the man is a blessing is a God sent and like 
uh, everybody is saying um, company basically uh, do not happen successful get successful overnight. You have to go through the process. And especially when you have somebody as huge as on passive, where any given time a million people can log into a single website, they have to be able to uh, sustain the uh, the value. Um, and Mr. Mr. Uh, Mofaro said something the other day. If anybody cannot understand the volume, just think about when Obamacare were open. And the reason why they fell is because they didn't expect the amount of people that would be standing up at the very same time. So if you cannot understand that concept, you just definitely don't understand technology. So um, this is a great opportunity. Thank you, Julie, for inviting me, for putting this together. And yes, this, uh, I think every single person needs to listen to this record and to reset the mind and just go out there, continue to do what they uh, were doing before on passive, to just taking care of the family, let this thing take its course, let Mr. McFarrell do his job. And then um, the, the, the beautiful time will come. I think we all need to be patient. Thank you very much. I feel so blessed to be on this platform today with all these great speakers. Thank you very much. It's my first time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Emilio. Yes, you spoke beautifully. You should come out more on international or any webinars that you are uh, available to, to join in. So thank you so much for being here with us. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate you. All right. Uh, my sister, Marcy and Hamaboo from Houston, Texas. Love seeing you. And I love your background, by the way. It, uh, it really represents you. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you all the founders on Passivian that they are in here today. And uh, I'm, my first language is French. So if you am speaking the English and you can't get me very well, bear with me because that's not my first language. My name is Marcin Emabu, and I'm speaking to you from the great state of Texas, Houston. So, and I'm your friend. And thank you so much for the, and the invitation of for this great topic we are discussing today. And there's something that I pick up to every founder or the speaker that they were in today. And I see that the trust and the love. All of us basically are on perseverance today because we trusted somebody and we get into this company. So now, how do you trust the person? It's because you believe on that person and you say, let me get a thought. You did not come in for by yourself. Somebody told you about on passive and you get in. So you trusted that person and you get the link from the person. Secondly, the person you trusted, you love that person. What is love? We don't see love. We tell people we love you. We don't see love. Love is the action. It's what we do. So when we trusted this company, when we came in, we started loving everything that the company was presenting to us. You don't have to recruit. You don't have to pay every month. You don't have to do anything. And we fell in love with all those. And our CEO started telling us, do it or die for you. No one left behind. I'm going to uplift the humanity. We trusted this world and we love those words so much. What happened to all of that today? What have changed? Is it not the same thing that you trusted and you love so much the day you joined this company? I think that what has changed is the value that they give us adding on those words. The product that we trusted, we love, and we did not see because love and trust is believing without seeing. Today, we are seeing the eyes of those baby products. The value that they are putting in these products to bring to the world. So it was supposed to be very much easier for us to be just be happy every day and see, wow, the thing that I went in, 
just by trusting without even knowing what was all about, just by loving the world that they were talking about. Today, I'm seeing the little babies trying to come up and they are trying to stroll and they are learning how to stand up. And very soon, they will be walking around and they will be empowering and they are going to be every thing that the world has never want to see, we have it in on passive. Why is it that we don't talk about it? That's one thing. The second thing I want to say is that not only that, all of us, maybe some of us that they are not in here today, we don't only trust our CEO anymore. We don't even trust ourselves. We don't even trust ourselves anymore. And we don't, it means what? We don't even love ourselves anymore. We don't even love our company anymore. Because when you see somebody talking or saying something about the company that is not good, like our sister Susie said before she left, what do you do? Is it good for you to go behind that person and make a plot to let everybody hate that person? Or is it okay for you to call that person and say, sister, brother, let us have a talk and see what you are not getting where? Are we doing that? Where is our conscience? That's one thing, because I believe that being in this company, a group of a founder, we are now like children of one mother. And that's what we are doing here. We are doing today, I call it the family reunion, what we are doing today. And we have that opportunity to air what we have. So as one children from Ashmofara, from this great company, from this great movement, why is it that we cannot come together and help each other the way that we're supposed to. Because that's where the problem start. When we started, wanted to be the only one and no other child will understand or know exactly what is going on. Where is gonna happen, the other child that is struggling so badly to make himself known, will say things that is not good. Because remember, bad things go very fast. If somebody said they have seen my son walking naked in the United States in Houston, everybody will look for that video. Everybody. It's not going to take a minute because it will go viral on the internet. But if those same people said, we have seen my son with a t-shirt that they wrote on passive or funded with a hat, what is all about? And people start asking, what are you getting that shirt for? What is this? I'm seeing you with this every time. That's the way the news of this company is going to go. And we are going to spray the name normally because we are trying to share. We don't have to hide what we have to know in this company for our own self, just because we want to be the only one in the front then known maybe by other people. Mr. Ash Mufara opened this door for all of us. Remember, we are the correction to the corruption. So, but along the way, a lot of things are changed because we hear this word from our CEO. Are we doing, are we taking it on consideration and trying to be that? Our company has not launched yet and we are not doing that. When we launch and we see that Apple, how are we going to become good founder? I think we should have used this moment that Mr. Ash Mufara is working so hard to put us in that great position that he wants us to be, to be brainstorming how to love each other, how to help each other to understand and, and, and do the right thing for this company. Sometimes we blame. I'm not saying that going out and talking bad about the company is a great thing. No, I'm just saying that why, if we cannot get out on those people that we know that they are founder, they maybe did not have that intention. Maybe they did not understand it the way that you understand because English is your first language, it's not mine and I can understand it on my own way, or I can read and don't get it very well, and bring those people and try to tell them, look, mm -hmm. this is where the great information is. If you did not get it, where are you lost? What is going on? How can we help? 
Because if you will sit down here and everybody said, oh, this company, I came in, I love Mr. Ash Mufara, it's okay. No, we are not doing the right thing. We cannot let any founder add to go. A founder is a founder from this good family that we are. And being in love with your family, you don't return your brother away. You put your brother by your side. You pull your sister by your side. You hug them, you love them. You beat them up and you tell them, look, next time this is what you have to do. This is where you have to go. So that together we can work. I remember one webinar, Mr. Ash Mufara come and he said, I have this story and somebody was asking, I'm going to give a gift. But for everybody that will get on this stage, the first person to get this gift, he has to tie the balloon on their feet of all the hundred of thousand people that they were there. And the person that will walk the stage with the balloon that is not boxed is the one that will have the prize. And people start turning around and boxing the feet, the balloon on their brother's feet. Instead of holding hand and say, if you have to take us 100 years to get on that stage, all of us will have that gift. They didn't do that. And that's what we are not doing. We are not holding the hand of the one plus million something, or maybe the 10,000 or the 4,000 that they always, in every webinar, because those are the people that they really believe, all the people that they came in here today because it were posted in the back office. We are not holding hands together and tell anybody that I'm not gonna leave you. Sometimes people are struggling. They want their voice to be heard. And the people that are supposed to be help them to make their voice be heard are the ones that they are, they are not happy. We have to learn from now on to know that this company is built with love and compassion. And that heart of humanity that Mr. Ash Mufara had, if we have getting a piece of it, we have to start share that heart by showing the love to each and everybody. Instead of sharing other people apart, instead of being looking for what people are doing wrong and make a little plot left and right so that they can crucify them and some other people will look good. For me, I'm sorry that maybe I'm a little emotional and I'm talking so much. It's because I have the opportunity to say it today. And I feel that this is a real platform for me to say it because I believe that as a founder, I also can air what I think is right for the company to move on instead of saying that people are warning and waiting for dollars. No, if you are still here at this point and you are in this webinar, I don't think that money is the problem. All of us, we know it's a dungeon. I have again for the $97, I will never, never pay it to have everything that I have had in on passive. I have gained a lot. I have 1.4 million friends around the world. I will never pay it. I know people that today I can call them at 1 a.m. midnight early in the morning. And it's because of the $97. Only for that, it's already again. So thank you for having me. And I hope that leaders, all of us, we are going to get each of every one of us back, just like Mr. Ash Mufara had our back. He's working very hard for us. Let us not give him the hard time by trying to cheer each other apart. On Pacific is so big. It's like the heart of Texas. It's too big that you cannot even have a share of it and finish it by yourself. So let us share it. Let us share our name. Let us share the love. And people will see when they see me loving you. It's easy they will ask why those people, why those group of people are so united. We don't have to go to every webinar, like all my brothers and sisters say. But the few, when you go there, take the positive side of it and go out and give to the people that they didn't make it for one reason or another. If you get a news, something good, go to your back office. Visit your back office three times, four times a day. It's okay. That's your home. 
Nobody's going to chase you out. The door will never get locked. Keep going in there. You never know the day that you come that your mother has put a good plate of food and you are the first person to fell on that plate. You get the big part of the meat. You start eating it before your other brother came and you'll be fighting with them. So visit your back office mostly every time. Look at the good information there. And when you see your brother, your sister that are doing something wrong, pamper them at the back and tell them, come on, come back home. This is where, this is what we have to do. This is the direction we are going. Thank you so much for having me. I am so happy to be here. I don't want to preach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sister. Wow, wow. You brought so many points up. And you know what? That's love. It just keep going. You can't stop that. Once you're on that love sharing, you just share. So thank you, Sister Marcianne. I call you my sister for being here. And, and, and this is exactly what it is. Let's get real. Well, let's get real to our heart. And I appreciate you saying that. All right. I know Peter is here and Peter has very limited time. So I'm going to ask uh, everyone who have hand raised a permission to just have Peter uh, um, speak before you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for allowing me uh, to call on Peter first. Peter, if you would, please. I appreciate it, Julie. Thank you for the invite. And I uh, just want to quickly, well, thanks to all the leaders, of course, everybody here, almost uh, nine, well, over 900 people in here. Awesome. Fantastic. Now, Marcian, you speak better English than I do. Just want to let you know that. Uh, you know, I've been, i born in, uh, in Egypt, as most of you probably know, and I speak Arabic and English. I think you speak English better than me speaking Arabic and or English. So you're doing fantastic, sister. Um, uh, anyway, um, I just want to uh, comment very quickly what um, Mr. John White was saying earlier. Great things take a long time. And I said a few things in the uh, Bangladesh webinar just a couple of days ago. I know Mercian was there and uh, uh, Jean Aliva was there as well. Uh, but I want to mention when you, uh, people ask, you know, why on passive have taken so long? to launch, you know, why is taking so long? Come on, come on, let's go. They thinking about themselves, first of all, but like great things take a long time. Okay, think of a painter, you know, um, uh, Picasso or not Picasso, um, uh, uh, a painter like Leonardo da Vinci, for example, when they did the Mona Lisa, you know how long it took him to paint that painting? It took him four years. You can search it on Google if you like. Taking four years to do uh, Mona Lisa, and everybody admire until today, right? It's a great painting. It takes the painters a couple strokes here with, with oil painting and a little bit here and a little bit there, and it takes them years to do an art that is really good. On Passive and its product is art also for all of us and for the future and legacy of our children as well. Uh, same thing when somebody go to the gym and build up their muscles. You think it's going to happen overnight? It takes years of dedications to build those strong muscles, right? And that's what on passive is. So, uh, you know, stop being impatient about this and concentrate on what the future will be. Okay, our product is fantastic. And I want to mention uh, um, Emilio and Raj, fantastic speakers for the first time. I really appreciate you guys. I want to see you more on uh, webinar and speak out. Um, other than that, you know, uh, we are all blessed to be here. Thank you so much, Julie, for allowing me to go ahead of these people. I'll be listening in the background while I'm working uh, on a few things that I need to take care of, but uh, I appreciate you guys letting me jump the line. Thank you so much, Peter. Always great having you and the wisdom that you share. And thank you for all the note taking, uh, not today, but, you know, in Ash's uh, webinar. We really appreciate you, Peter. All right, my dear sister, my little sister, Rupa Paul. Rupa, if you would please unmute your mic. Thank you, Julie, calling me. And uh, I am Rupa, all my restricted family members here. So right now we are going toward a very important phase of time. <clears throat> I know all our founder members are really waiting for an update and we will soon get update. We just have the patience and trust the process. Enjoy the journey and please keep your smile. 
This is a hundred percent real company, and hundred percent real founders here. So don't nervous. Right now, this company, our love and our emotions, everyone knows. So we love each other. This is a loving platform here. We love. We have to believe in Mr. Ash Mufare and is a great vision. That's all I wanted to say to my lovely founders members. Thank you and love you all. Over to Julie. Thank you so much all. Oh, she is so sweet. Thank you so much, Rupa. You you spoke beautifully, and you are everywhere. You are everywhere. So we appreciate uh, you for what you are doing. You're sharing everyone's, um, you know, YouTube webinars. You 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 do that, uh, and because you represent unity and love, we appreciate you very much. I also wanted to say hello to Bill Musk as well. Uh, Bill Musk is here with us, and uh, you know the 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 man behind the scene uh, that put out so many beautiful works we appreciate you being here all right uh, up next we have momodu before we have momodu speak we are here uh, at exactly two hours and i know there are many of our friends here have work have things to do so in respect for of your time you are not required uh, to be here and we appreciate you very much being here but like i said from their very beginning this is not a mr ash Mufar webinar and if you are expecting or awaiting for him to come on this is not his webinar this is all of us just friends getting together and uh, get real so uh, we appreciate you very much and uh, please feel free if you have to leave this webinar will be replayed again tonight at a different link so i'm going to share that link tonight but it will be replayed again and uh, let William be our last speaker today. And if anyone who raised hand after William, uh, please, I'm apologize for lowering your hand, but uh, in respect of everyone's time as well. All right, uh, Momodu, and this is another man. He's everywhere. He's showing up at every webinar. Um, Momodu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Julie. Thank you very much for calling me right now because I just reached at the parking lot and I'm about to enter the, my my place of work. You know, um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my sincere thanks and appreciation and admiration to my honorable CEO who is Mr. Asmo Farah, his family, the tech team, and all my beloved fellow founders all over the world. You know, I said admiration because looking at the shortest possible time and what Mr. As and his team has put in place for us, you know, it deserves admiration. And the appreciation and thanks is for everything one the thought he has for we the masses that can't make it you know we are working for example some of us have jobs to to do but these jobs that we are doing it can't solve our problem and mr ash look at it and say no i'm gonna make your life easy and make your family's life prosperity. So that's the only thing I can never say any more time. For any time I have the opportunity to say anything is just to thank him for having this thought and for making my life meaningful in this world. You know, I don't have much to say. Right now I'm heading to my job to help humanity. And I'm so appreciative and thank you all the leaders, the webinar organizers that help us to educate our founders. Just appealing to our fellow founders to plug in so they can understand so, so that they don't have no iota of MS skepticism about this company because the man means so much for us. Thank you very much, Ms. Julie, and thank you everybody that is listening to me. Thank you very much. God bless you all.
Thank you, Momodu, for being here. What a perfect timing uh, for you to come on oh, and speak without no. a mask on you. <laughs> Every time you come on, you have a mask and you were uh, you know, working. <laughs> I'm just about to step out of the car. <laughs> I was wondering, I said, oh my God, please let her call me before I go to the time club. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I got to uh, meet Momodu in, uh, in God America. bless you. <laughs> God bless you, Momodu. Thank Have you. Great thank, day. you. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Um, up next, we have Pat Parent here with us. As everyone who followed Pat and uh, seeing her, this woman never gives up. She never does. It doesn't matter if she needs to have to carry the oxygen tank with her. She's going to do it. She never give up. If you've seen her live, her YouTube, this is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud to, uh, to call you my sister, uh, Pat. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Julie. Um, thank you for allowing me to speak and to attend as I was late today. Um, Yes, my name is Patricia Parent and everyone calls me Pat and I am your friend. And I have a squeaky voice because I just came through uh, 104 temperature last night. But show me more. The more on passive can show me, the more I'll take in. And I'm so grateful, thankful and blessed. And Julie, I just wanted to say, God is good and he knows all our needs. He is faithful and he longs to show more of his glory and beauty. But you know what? Mr. Ashmafara shows us his glory and beauty every day with on passive. And this is how I live my life is through the Lord and on passive. Because you know, in the last three and a half years, my life has turned around at 360 and I am so grateful and Peter stole my story because I was on that Bangladesh webinar with him but I'm going to change it from a painting to growing my hair because every time that I look at my hair now I'm grow trying to grow it out you know we take shampoo and conditioner we nurture it we trim it and this is what Mr. Ash Mafar is doing with on passive products. He nurtures it, he treats it, he trims it, and he makes it perfect. So if we can relate to that, it all takes time. There's a process and we need to trust it. Just like I need to trust not taking the scissors and cutting my hair right off. Because uh, Mr. Ash could have could have thrown on passive products all out, but he said, do or die. So when we trust the process of do or die, that's showing us all in our hearts, how big a heart he does have. And if we can just feel one tenth of it, and we are so in the right place, and everything everything is going to be done for us this is mind-blowing because when my sponsor invited me over three and a half years ago that's what got me because it was a done deal and when i listened to scott nielsen way back rest his soul because he was a man of honor respect for mr ash mafara and I am so grateful to be able to have heard those two videos. And today we are much, much bigger, thanks to Mr. Ash Mafara. And if we can put everything over the last four years that Mr. Ash has done for us, we should be so grateful, blessed, and thankful because it is much bigger than what ever ever imagine and i do have a, my saying up if you can dream it you can do it and mr ash's mafara's saying is dream bigger and bigger 
Well, Chris and Julie, you know what I'm going to be talking about next Tuesday. And thank you for the invite for all bless. And I am dreaming bigger and bigger. And I'm loving every moment of it. And I'm so grateful, thankful, and blessed. But uh, my voice is getting hoarse, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much, Julie, for allowing me in and talking today. Thank you so much, Pat. And uh, please take care of yourself. Um, this is a little too much, um, you know, on your health. And uh, please do take care of yourself. I know that you're not going to give up, and I know you always have God leading your ways and many of us here are doing that so we appreciate you being here please take care of yourself um all right uh let's see we have five hands left um Willow Griffith is our last speaker for the day uh, I just wanted to remind them and and let's let's not um you know I, I'm just in respect for of our times of everyone's time here so all right let's call on MD Rufizu if you would please unmute your mic, MD Rufizul's Islam. Okay, let's move forward to MD Farood Hossein, and we're gonna come back to MD for Rufizu in a bit. MD Rufuk? MD Farouk? If you would please unmute your mic. You have to unmute, Baruch. We cannot hear you. Be unmuted. Thank you, Anjay. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. <laughs> I am Baruch. I am from Bangladesh. I love my own Pesif. I love my Esmuvara. We, we all time believe Esmuvara. We all time believe on Pesif company. Uh, I like my on Pesif company. Now, all time I believe on PC on PC is number one of the world. Company is big. All time I like on PC, my Bangladeshi people also uh, like him on PC company. All people say this company is very big of the world. So um, all time all, all we are we are believe that company. All time win. I like to company and also I like my um, CEO as Mubara. Um, uh, thank you uh, as Mubara and thank you Oreo and everybody, all founders. Um, uh, everybody I like and everybody thanks. Thank you very much for Julie. Thank you so much for Ruth for being here. Um... And uh, yes, let's just keep moving on with MD Rufizu. Are you still here with us? Would you please unmute your mic? I can uh, help you to, uh, to pronunciation. MD Rufizul Islam. MD Rufizul Islam. If you are, after you have a mute, unmute. All right. Thank you so much, Akram. All right. We're going to move forward because. Uh, I feel that we are here uh, for two over two hours, and I'm in respecting of everyone's time. So, Lloyd, Lloyd from Zambia, if you could please, Lloyd, thanks for being here with us. If you could please unmute your mic. Thanks, thanks. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Are you able to get me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Um... I just want to advise the on passive family. Although I had so many things, I wanted some clarifications now because of the English of other people. But what I want, what I want to advise is that what I want to encourage and advise is that you don't give up what you're going on. Lloyd, we're having a hard time. Lloyd, we're having a hard time hearing you because I think it's your ear. Can you get me? Maybe let me put them on. Right. And Hello? yes, go ahead. You can get? Yes, we can hear you now better. Yeah. What I'm saying, 
what I'm saying is that uh, uh, what I want to I want to encourage the founders family and their own personal family. I think we're losing Lloyd. I think we lost him. Yeah. All right. We're going to move on to William. William, if you could please unmute your mic. Hello. Uh, thank you, Ompasi. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, everyone. I also want to thank Masine Ibabu. She's been helping me a lot as a founder. Please, I want to ask, is Tony Mark, I'm not sure of the study of his name. I want to ask, is he on the platform, Tony Mark? I'm not sure. I don't think he is. Okay. Um, Sister Julie, is it possible, how, how can Tony Mark contact me? I listened to yesterday, they are, uh, their YouTube webinar on the power of giving. I listened to it. It was so powerful. I, I decided to contact him. Is it possible? How can I get in contact with him, please? Are you on Facebook, William? I know Tony I on Facebook. Say that again, please. I know Tony is on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? Yes, I am. Right. If you could... Um, if you could, let's see, Marcian was helping you. I, I believe maybe Marcian. Uh, Tony, uh, Will, William, I'm going to help him to get contact with him on Facebook. Thank you very much. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, sister. Thank you, William. Is that all you need to share with us today? You people are doing a great job. Thank you, everybody. And I enjoy it. And I'm still listening. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you, William. All right, our last speaker for tonight is our respected Willow Griffith. Willow, if you could have this. I want to apologize. I just zoomed in a number on me. I went off and I come back on and then I shut off again. And then I went to YouTube. And well, anyway, to make a long short story short, I wanted, was not going to talk today because I feel like uh, I'm an empath. And I'm a consultant and I teach people how to deal with life's problems. And sometimes we absorb so much pain as an empath that we come across as being negative when in fact we're just so filled with the sorrow of other people's hearts that we are ineffective, even at our job. You know, and I work every day. I could not understand what everybody was talking about being upset with Ash over the last webinar. And I, I kept looking around and I'm kind of like Marty. Nobody comes to me with, with complaints because they know I'll hit them right between the eyes. They know how I feel. For three and a half years, I have looked upwards and thank God every day for answering my prayers. And all the last two weeks I have been involved with the people that were flooded out in Kentucky. And today I had to counsel a mother who lost four of her family members. And she was looking for somebody to hold her while she cried. So when we say, uh, what I want you not to do here is when you see people who are frustrated and they act like they don't appreciate Mr. Ash, has nothing to do with long passes. The world right now is in great turmoil. People are, are hungry high inflation and all of those things. So what I try to do is I try to not come on when I am negative. And sometimes I'm damn negative. I want to go out and hurt somebody for some of the injustice I see. However, if we all 
understand one simple thing, the best is yet to be. And we have a gift that we're holding on to with all our hearts, because most of us on on fascism are empathetic humanitarians. My friend Marty, I've been, <laughs> I've had people tell me, why do you love Marty? I said, because I love his heart. He can be ornery as an old mule, and I still love him. I see Ash come on, and he has to bite his tongue because he can't say some of the things he wants us to know. And we have to read between the lines and we get frustrated. But frustration doesn't mean that we've given up on Mr. Mafara and his dream. Because I don't see people doing that. And maybe I'm a Pollyanna. And I just don't know what's going on in the world all, all, always. I don't hear the complaints about Ash. Now, my family, my kids are, they keep saying, Mom, are you nuts? You know, and, and you know, I understand them. You know, they, they, I know they think their mother's crazy, but I don't hear it in the world. What I hear is, please, God, tell me it's going to start soon because I'm drowning. That's different than complaining about Mr. Ash. That's different than complaining of why it's not launching. People are hanging on by their fingernails to a dream and a hope that they are crying for help and they look to Mr. Ash for help, which is not really right, like Michael Williams said today, but it's a human feeling. For three and a half years, I've talked to people and I had two of my my uh, sweet friends on here, Susan and her husband, and I wanted to hear what they had to say today because they joined me because they loved me. And I'm so proud of them because they have become such stalwart founders. But I want to say just to everybody here that's discouraged, look to the sparrow. I'm sorry, <laughs> forgive me, Julie, but God is watching us. And he's watching how we're reacting to the world events. There are great changes coming and we can do great things. And I see our little Chris, our little Chris, he can pick me up and throw me over his shoulder and he's heartbreaking today. If you don't feel that kind of emotion, then maybe you're like Marty says, get a shovel. Because I feel it all and I deal with it on a daily basis and have all my life. And I don't feel discouragement with on passes. I feel discouragement in people's souls because things are not good out there. So have patience. Don't throw rocks at people because they seem like they're short-tempered and they're not getting answers. Pray for them. Join me and pray for them. I started a show and I, I've been so caught up with disasters that I haven't had time to go in and do any more lives, but I'm going to this week. And I want you all to join me on YouTube. I want you to open up YouTube channels because when on passive launches, oh my God, are we going to be glad we got a YouTube channel? You know, and it's it's something we need all to join hands and do. But most of all, we need to understand we are a community of humanitarians. We wouldn't have stuck it out as long as we have stuck it out if we didn't care for the world and the people in it. 
So don't get discouraged when some people are scared. That's what it is. When they reach out and they complain and they cry like an old woman like me, it's because they're afraid and they don't have any answers for people that are reaching out for them. And we're supposed to be helping others and I can't. And when their strength runs out, like I see Chris, Chris goes and goes and goes like the energizer buddy. But when he straight goes out, that's not going to help us. Because God, I'd hate to think of a world without Chris and Marty and these people, little Julie, and people that I've grown to love. Mm. We got to pace ourselves. And you got to look at this old woman and say, okay, Willow's still here. If she can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. And start being kind to those that maybe do not think like we think. They'll come around in droves, and we'll be driving our electric pickups and going yada, yada, yada as we drive up. So just understand this. I didn't mean to get this emotional, but today has been a really hard day for me. I watched a woman bury four of her babies, four babies drowned in Kentucky. She lost her home. She lost her clothes. She lost her husband. She lost her mother, and she lost her father and her children. Thank God that she had the strength to get out of the water. So there are people out there in much worse condition than we are. And I'm looking forward to Old Bless, that I can start Old Bless projects in Kentucky. And I hope each and every one of you will call me up on the phone and say, how can I help? Well, how can I help? Well, I don't know exactly what all we can do when Old Bless comes into force, but I know there's something that God is keeping me on this earth for. And I think it's 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 for things like this, for these people that need us so badly. So bless you all. Don't get discouraged. Remember, remember when Ash told us to dream big? Well, I tell you, something big is coming. And you say, oh, well, I, I'm a psychic, and I see things before they happen. And I don't say too much about it because people think you're nutty or a fruitcake. Well, you do. But I'm here to tell you there's an end to some misery that's coming. And, and even all of the good psychics for years have said there's a new age coming. And I'm here to tell you we're all right on the edge of it. And Ash knows it. Ash saw the corruption before anybody else did. So don't give up now, for God's sakes. Absolutely. Keep, keep your heart together. Thank you, Julie. I went on and on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But I was so worried I wasn't going to get back on. And I wanted to tell you before I left that, God, I love each and every one of you. You're all so very very, very precious to me. I don't know about Marty this week, but uh, I'm going to, if he gets one more game that we have to play, I'm going to kill him. But <laughs> other than that, we're, I love it, and I love you, and thank you. I love keep you. Your, keep your hopes up, because we're going to be okay. And keep going to your back office. I go four and five times a day. I just wanted to say one thing. Did anybody else have any trouble with their secondary, like if they had secondary um, uh, accounts and getting them cleaned up or they, they, they said I had to go back. I think I changed the password on one fifty-five times before I got it today. So if anybody else is having that trouble, I think it is the fixing thing. So yes. today it worked beautifully well. And Chris. <laughs> I want to see you say, hey, 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 again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willow. Thank okay. you. So Thank you, Julie, darling.
Thank you. I bet you the biggest hug that I can do, and that the tightest one that I can give you, uh, to lift you up. And and I love you for for being here. And uh, Willow is one of the um, individual that sometimes I search for wisdom. So I appreciate you being here, and I love you. Um, all right, we are at the end of our webinar, and. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I would like to send the mic back to first to Sherry to kind of conclude the message that we want to convey today. And then I'm going to send it uh, to Terry after uh, so that she also wanted to communicate about our, uh, our get together this Sunday. We overbooked, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. And then right after this webinar, I'm going to post the link for tonight for the replay of this session. Um, tonight, it's at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I would love for everyone to share it out uh, to the people that you feel that they need to uh, listen to all these positive, real message. Uh, also for the founders that just joining us uh, as pending, you know, through the pending founders. Um, and uh, if it's even possible, uh, please take the link for tonight uh, they won't be speaking tonight because all the great message are here. So if they could just join in and be an attendees and listen to these great messages. So if it even possible, please broadcast it out in your back office. The more people that coming on, the more message of like this uh, can be spread around as well. Thank you so much for your time being here. I'm going to send it back to Sherry. Sherry, if you could please unmute your mic. Yes, you bet. So this has been phenomenal. We have gained lots of wisdom, lots of positive, and most importantly, lots of love. Our company is built on love, trust, humanity to help our world know that every time Ash comes on, there's a purpose behind it. He wants you to know that he loves everybody in the world, not just us founders, not just customers, he loves everybody in the world and will be changing. That's why he created this. This is just a platform to help our world. It's all about love. And if we have more love in this world, we will sure in the heck have a lot less bad stuff going around. And if we can think more positive and start working on ourselves, because sometimes, like Lily said, it, people have just been run to the ringer and they're having a hard time. I realize that. And I know that people have a hard time. A lot of us are having a hard time, and we know there are people worse off than us, but know that love will get us through all of that. Love, and the and I believe in the power of the highest power, God. So whatever that is for you, I, I don't, you know, preach it to anybody. Whatever that is for you, they will get you through. And we're all here to help each other, to lift each other up. So if you're having a bad day, or whatever that is, that's what we here founders are for, to help you to help you make your life better. And that's what I'm passing to the battle, to help change this world to the better. Think about how much is changed already just by Ash sharing with one person that spread throughout. We're not just one drop, we made an ocean. We made an ocean of positive, ocean of the bluest blue you could ever see and with rainbows running through it. And all I got to tell you is we're here for the long run and Ash always has a purpose behind what he shares even if you don't seem to realize it, he wants us to work on our brain because it's it, what's coming is going to overpower so much and you need to be at the right spot so that you can go forward with your life and not be left behind or anything under the cracks. That's all I have. Know that you guys are all important. Each and single one of you are important in this world. You all have a purpose. Go out and use purpose and know that you are helping somebody along the way. That's all I have for you folks. Take care, take charge, God bless. And I'll see you all at the very end. Hey, thank you, Sherry. Thank you so much. Uh, as, we, uh, as we remember over a year and a half, we started a, a meetup, a coffee meet. 
And we did that every single Friday. And then we have a get together every single uh, month. And we kind of skip a few months because of sickness and all that stuff. But we are back and we're excited to have. So I would love to have uh, Terry talk about that a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. I do want to, and thank you, Sherry. I mean, your words were so eloquent and, and positive as always. So thank you. I just do want to also remind everybody here, our purpose here today is never ever to judge. On um, passive does not judge. We are all one family. We accept and love everyone, even if your thought process is different. It's okay. That's what makes you unique. Our purpose here today was just to keep uplifting your spirits um, and your thoughts and just to think positive, just to um, give a little bit of value today. So again, not being judgmental. We love all of you for, and we love you because of your uniqueness. So um, I also, yes, we uh, Julie, Sherry, and I, we, we get together. We're, we're best of friends because of on passive. And, um, I went and changed that for the world. That in itself was worth what we've put in. So, um, Sherry and Julie, they were meeting, uh, before the three of us, I came along, you know, months, months ago, I've been in since 2018, but the three of us got together, um, and started just, you know, we talk every single night. We felt it important to do, to share today. I do want to bring up, because this is part of why we love having this friendship, is that we are holding this Sunday, the 14th in Huntington Beach, California, at a Mexican restaurant. We're going to have fun, food, family, founder friendships. And we really want to invite you. Um, you know, honestly, we were expecting maybe 20 people and we're almost at 40 and it keeps climbing and we're welcoming you. If, if you're interested, it's in the back office, the information, and you can I'll also get a hold of one of the three of us and let us know that you're coming. We would really love to have you there. We have people coming from up north and down south, San Diego, San Francisco. So we're super excited. We're just going to share, you know, our, our thoughts. It's not a presentation. It's a get together of just pure fun. So please get a hold of one of us. It's from 12 to 2 Pacific Standard Time in Huntington Beach, California. We'd love to see you there. And thank you for having me, for having all of us here today. We really appreciate your time. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Terry, Sherry, uh, for the friendships that we have. Thank you, all the founders, all the friends around the world. We appreciate you deep down from our heart for you being here with us. And um, uh, hopefully this was much needed and hopefully this will empower what you believe and the passion that you have for OnPassive. Um, and let's continue to do this together and let's continue uh, to uh, share the love to the world. Thank you so much. This Sunday, there won't be a Zoom. However, I, we will do a live stream from either myself or Terry or Sherry, uh, Facebook, I meant, and uh, maybe YouTube too. We're, we're going to figure that out. And then a lot of the images, the messages, we will be posting that in O Network. Talking about O Network, there are so many great things that, that are happening in O Network. I haven't done much myself because I have. Uh, you know, other things that I'm working, but I bet you there's going to be a lot of things that are going on O Network. So if you haven't checked out O Network, haven't posted anything, uh, continue to encourage, continue to empower all of our friends and families around the world uh, to have this perfect and beautiful opportunity. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end it since this is a replay, so I'm not asking everyone to say goodbye, uh, but we appreciate you and we love you. And see you tonight. The link